and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodora Dyer, Miss Practicing Spiritual Medium and Intuitive Reader, your guide to a clearer perspective. I have a message for Libra today. This is a channeled message from my guides and spirit, and it is to help you move forward on your path with abundance and clarity. So Libra, interesting thing happening with you this week. We have the magician for the energy sent to you by the universe. So the universe is asking you to step up and to really move forward and to get going on that direction you know you need to go. This is about creativity. This is originality. This is kind of the quirky you getting up and doing what you need to do. And, you know, this is not just about a project or, or getting something going. This is really about embracing the identity of being original, being yourself. And <laughs> this card has been coming up for so many people this week in, in these readings. So I think this is a bit of a collective energy we're looking at. You're responding with the Six of Cups. And so rather than looking forward in the direction of you as this really interesting individual with a life purpose, a soul purpose, you're looking back to the past. You're looking back for relationships which are either expired or they're kind of <laughs> they're past their sell by date. Um, they just they don't have any nourishment for you anymore. But you're looking back to past not only relationships but it's situations actually that just are they're not they're done. You know they had their lifetime. They served their purpose and they're done. But for some reason your attention wants to go there rather than to the future. So. We're going to kind of deepen this a little bit more. We've got the Four of Cups, looking at the Ten of Cups, looking at, and then we've got the King of Pentacles here. So this Four of Cups card is really coming across as very, um, there's a lot of antipathy. Is that a good word? Or um, it's, it's just checked out. Like it doesn't really care. It doesn't give a to, to you know what word I'm wanting to say. It doesn't give a flying hoo-ha, right? <laughs> so it's just emotionally kind of not there. It's emotionally stagnant. And that means that the heart is really kind of not there. It's not involved. It's checked out. And there's one cup being preserved up here in the shadows. And when we look at the magician card, he's got his one direction, his wand. He's pointing us. We've got to go there. And this emotional part, it's like it's hidden from you. It's this to me, it's the same imagery as this, where you've got your back to your way forward. She's got her back to this cup here. And this cup represents fulfillment. Our next card is the Ten of Cups. And I asked if this is about the family. My guides have said no. So I know that we're talking about, again, the sense of fulfillment and satisfaction and contentedness within the self. This is the culmination of that energy of feeling completely satisfied with who you are and okay with who you are. And she's just like, eh. <laughs> she doesn't even really want to feel that. And I think because we've got that strange tension of looking, of being pulled to the future in our new direction, in your new vibration, in your new way of being, you're being pulled that way, yet you're looking back to the past. It creates this ambivalence where you're not doing either. You're not looking forward. You're not looking backward. You're just not moving, which is this energy here. And when you think of the idea of satisfaction and fulfillment, it doesn't actually elicit any kind of joy in you because you're just like, eh, whatever. Um, and it's that tension that's creating that because you're not deciding forwards or backwards. Now we have the King of Pentacles who comes in here to kind of give you a reality check. The question he's asking you is, is this working? What has worked for you? What works for you? Is it that old way of being? Is it the new way of being? Is it being stuck in who you were? Or is it embracing the new person that you are, no matter how weird or quirky it is? Which one is it? Which really works for you? And who really are you? This King of Pentacles, when I look at this card, I just get the idea of listening. Like he's the best listener in the world. <laughs> that you could tell him anything. He would listen to any perspective. So he's asking you to listen to yourself. 
Like, what is your truth? Who really are you? What is your intention? Because obviously part of you has desired to move forward in a different way. Otherwise, the magician wouldn't show up. Something was not content. So you weren't really satisfied with the way the past was going. Otherwise, you wouldn't want to change it. You would just be reliving the past. So with that, why even look back? He's asking you, are, are you really doing what you like? And what I love is you see how he's wearing red and green and she's also got red and then she's surrounded by this green. So he's asking you to bring this together, bring the heart's desire, the color of the red with the nourishment, the green color, to bring that all into yourself and say, hey, what really nourishes you? What do you really want? What's actually working? What gives you tangible results? Do you get better results being who you were? Or do you get better results being who you are and who you see yourself being in the future? Which one is going to yield to you the result? And he's wanting you to think very tangibly. He's wanting you to think very practically and very much in terms of the world. Like what is, I keep saying like a lot, <laughs> uh, what is gonna get you what you want? I wonder why I'm saying like a lot because that has not been the case for the other readings. <laughs> so, um, Okay, I see, because it's it's trying to get you to see what you like. What is it that you like? Do you like the old self? Do you like the new self? Do you like the future and the possibilities attached to the new self? Or do you like the old self? What is it that you like? So, I'm not telling you which way is right, but I'm saying that you've got a, a pull in you and you've got to decide either one way or the other. I'm giving you your advice in advance. We've got the King of Swords for your advice. And there's only, the sword can only point one way, right? It can't point sort of left and sort of right. It can't point forwards and backwards at the same time. It points in one way. And so he's saying, make up your mind, like literally make a decision. Are you going to the right? Or are you going to the left? Are you going forward? Are you going back? Which way are you going? And that's why this card came to ask you to listen to yourself for what is your answer? Because he wants, you've got, <laughs> this is so forceful, there's really a desire to, to do something to move forward in either way, but you can't move forward in both ways. You have to move forward in one way. And again, we have lots of ones going on. One sword. He's pointing one direction, one power rod, one cup being back here. In fact, he's holding one cup here for himself. And 10 condenses to one. So out of all of your cards, only the King of Pentacles doesn't have a one because he's asking you to look, look at all the different possibilities and perspectives and say, okay, after knowing all this, what's my decision? So questions about that, please reach out in the comments below. You know, I always love to hear from you if you wanna leave me a comment. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I would ask you to consider doing so, so we can keep this positive energy flowing. If you are looking for some one-on-one -on -one guidance or you'd like a reading, please check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great week.